Hello everyone. My name is Jaleesa Monroe and today we're going to practice diaphragmatic breathing. This breathing technique is also known as belly breathing and deep breathing. Some of you may already be familiar with this breathing technique already even if you're not aware of it because believe it or not we all started off breathing in this fashion when we were babies. Think about it. Have you ever watched a baby breathing and as they're inhaling and exhaling you notice that their bellies are moving up and down this is the same fashion and the same breathing fashion that we're going to practice today and there are several different benefits that are associated with this breathing with this diaphragmatic breath can help us increase our oxygen levels which keeps our organs functioning effectively such as our heart keeping it pumping nice and strong it can also reduce the tension that we feel in our body. So as we go through these our lives and feel these different emotions, we experience multiple different things and without even realizing it, we can hold this tension, hold these emotions and experience in our bodies. So as we bring awareness to our breath and practice this intentional breathing, we can release any tension in the body that we may not even realize we're holding. Last but not least, because there are several different benefits, but we're only going to focus on these three for today, at least in this video. Breathing in this fashion can also slow down your heart rate. So if you're ever in a situation and you notice that your heart is beating really quickly, and as you're in this situation, it may even be a little hard for you to think. Bringing awareness to your breath, again, coming back to this intentional breath work, this intentional breathing, can help slow down the heart rate, which in return can help us think more clearly in the present moment so that we can make the best decisions for ourselves. So that's why we're going to practice this diaphragmatic breathing. Again, several different benefits associated with it. Because we're breathing with using this large diaphragm dome shaped muscle, some even notice with consistent practice of this breathing technique that they have lost weight in this area. You may even notice that while you're watching or while you're doing this video, while you're making, practicing this diaphragmatic breath, it becomes, you may have to use the bathroom. So you can pause the, you know, the video if that happens, but breathing in this fashion can make it easier to use do number two. <laughs> um, so there's several different benefits associated with diaphragmatic breathing. The list really does go on, but let's go ahead and get started into getting into this practice, this breath. For this video, we're going to learn how to breathe, or we'll first see exactly where we are with our breath, and then learn how to breathe with the diaphragmatic breath. I guess really relearn because we all start off breathing that way. And then we'll go ahead and set aside 10 minutes so that way we can practice this breath together. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. You can come and get practice or get going either sitting in a chair sitting on the floor or your mat, and you can crisscross your shins if you would like to, just like I'm doing right now, or you can lie down. You can also stand up. So like, again, there's multiple different ways. If you want to stand up and mountain pose and just practice your breath, you can certainly do that. Or if you want to lie down on your mat or on the floor or on the bed, you could do that as well. However you choose to practice this diaphragmatic breathing, we just want to make sure that our backs are straight so there's no arch here and that we're comfortable. As long as we can find comfort in the pose that we're in, it makes it a lot easier to bring awareness to our breath and breathe into our breath. So if you're lying down on the mat, you're more than welcome to maybe take a blanket or, or, or pillow <laughs> and put it underneath your head for some cushion or support. If you're sitting in an easy seat of pose like I'm doing right now, maybe you notice your knees are kind of high up. You can certainly put blocks underneath your knees or something underneath your knees to prop them up so that way it makes this more comfortable for you. If you notice there's any tension in your lower back, you can certainly sit on the edge of a blanket and that should certainly make this more comfortable as well. I personally just like sitting on the edge of a blanket. Uh, I like the elevation of the hips. It makes it more comfortable for me. And if you don't have a blanket at home, that's okay. You can use maybe a towel, maybe one or two towels. You could fold those towels up and just sit on the edge of that. So there are def several different ways that we can make things work. If you think about it back in the day, there weren't always yoga props around. So we, we can make things work. 
All right. So grounding ourselves on our sitting bone, maybe doing a little fidgeting to make sure that you're comfortable. Let's go ahead and bring awareness to our breath just to see where we are in our practice or in our breathing practice right now. You can place your hands wherever feels comfortable to you right now. And tune into your breath. I invite you to close your eyes. Come at a focal point or find a half gaze. Breathing into this breath, we're not adjusting or changing the breath, but we're simply noticing our breath in this present moment. Noticing the rhythm of our breath. As we inhale and exhale. Noticing the sensations of the breath. Maybe feeling where the breath is in the body. And to continue practicing this diaphragmatic breath, I invite you at this time to place one hand on the belly so that the thumb falls on the belly button and then the rest of the fingers fall onto the stomach. We'll take the other hand and place it on the chest near the collarbone. It doesn't matter which hand you choose, whichever brings you comfort at this time. Continue breathing into your breath. Again, not adjusting or changing it, but breathing into your natural rhythm. As you inhale, breathing into your hands. And exhale. Staying focused on this breath. Not adjusting the breath. But breathing into this moment. On your next exhale, we'll go ahead and soften the belly. Let's take a deep inhale together. An audible exhale, breathing out through the mouth. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about that moment for a bit. Why did we place our hands in this position? Just like diaphragmatic breathing, there are several different benefits with this position as well as an energy transferring position. But along with being an energy transferring position, putting our hands, one hand on the chest and one hand on the belly, lets us know where we're breathing from. It at least gives us an indication or an idea of where we're breathing from. If you notice as you were breathing, your lower hand was the one doing the most movement. Maybe as you were breathing, you noticed your lower hand was being pushed out and then being pulled back in, or not pulled back in, but falling back in towards the body. That lets you know that you're breathing from the belly. If you notice that maybe your top hand was the one doing all the movement, so maybe your chest was moving and your shoulders were moving, you notice your top hand is rising and falling with you as you breathe. And it may not even be this much of a movement, but you just notice that the top hand was the one doing all of the movement. This lets you know that we're breathing from the chest, also known as shallow breathing. And there are several different ways that we can start sh beginning with the shallow breathing. We're not gonna focus on what causes shallow breathing. What we're gonna focus on is if you notice this is happening, we want to bring our attention back into breathing into the belly. As you were breathing in this fashion, you may have even noticed maybe both hands were slightly moving. If that's happening, that's okay. We still want to focus on breathing into the lower belly so that we're stopping this top hand from moving and only moving this lower hand. Breathing into the belly as we round it like a balloon, exhale gently pulling the belly back in. If you notice... It didn't seem like either hands were moving. It just seems like 
there wasn't really much activity at all, like it was just kind of still, I strongly encourage you to practice this diaphragmatic breathing every day for at least 10 minutes. And maybe even journal before you, if you're going to do this and you notice that, start journaling how you feel after you practice this breathing technique at least for 10 minutes a day because you, you may even notice a strong difference in your day and how you're feeling. So that's how we're going to focus on this breathing with our diaphragmatic breath. We really only want the bottom hand to move. We don't want this top hand to move. So keeping this, our hands in this position, coming back into our breath, tuning back into our breath, we only want our lower hand to move. So we'll use our top hand. If you notice that the chest was moving, we'll just apply a little pressure to keep that hand still. And we'll go ahead and focus on the belly moving. And if you're sitting up right now and you notice that your top hand was moving a lot, I also recommend that you might want to lie down because breathing the diaphragmatic breath, if you've been breathing from the chest for a while, it can be a little difficult to start breathing from the belly again. But I promise you, the more that you practice this, the easier that it gets and it will become automatic because this is a breathing technique our body is already familiar with. We're the ones that diverted away from this breathing technique, right, with our daily lives and all of the different things coming into us, uh, coming at us, not into us, but at us. All right. So let's go ahead and co <laughs> come back onto our breath. Again, if you notice that your top hand was moving, you can lie down. Taking our hands back into this position. Let's go ahead and breathe into the belly as we inhale in through the nose to push the belly out like a balloon, rounding the belly like a balloon. Exhale, gently pulling the belly back in towards the spine. Soften the belly to inhale gently rounding the belly like a balloon, pushing the hands out, pushing the lower hands out. Exhale, gently pulling the belly back in, feeling the lower hand come back towards the body. Soften the belly to inhale, breathing in through the nose. And you can do an audible exhale or breathe out through the nose. And this is how we'll breathe with the diaphragmatic breath. There are ways that you can strengthen the breath or the diaphragm. But again, as long as you continue practicing this breath, it will get easier over time. We don't want to force our breath, force the breathing. So letting this happen naturally as you practice breathing into the lower belly. Inhaling in through the nose, rounding the belly. Exhale. And once you feel like you've gotten this diaphragmatic breath, you've noticed that your top hand isn't moving as much, you can certainly go ahead and take your hands wherever it feels comfortable to you and continue practicing this belly breathing. Breathing in through the nose to round the belly like a balloon. Exhale through the nose or the mouth. Gently pulling the belly back towards the spine. And that is how we will practice. So that is how we practice diaphragmatic breathing. That's how we do the diaphragmatic breath. <laughs> All right. Again, if you notice that this was difficult, you can lie down and it does make it easier. Another thing that I want to mention is that as you're breathing, every opportunity, every breath that you take is an opportunity to try again. So if you notice that you're breathing and you have this rhythm going with your belly and then all of a sudden you start breathing from the chest, that's okay. You're bringing awareness to that chest breathing. You have an opportunity in that moment to stop what you're doing 
and bring your belly or your breath to your lower belly, focusing on that diaphragmatic breathing again. So it's okay if you notice that you start doing the shallow breathing again. The most important part is bringing your awareness to this and then start breathing from the belly again. That's all that we have to do. And just be compassionate with yourself, especially if you've been breathing from the chest for a while. This can take some time to get used to, to relearn, to do again. But as I said, the more that you practice it, the easier it gets. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for our 10 minutes of breathing that we talked about. And I'm going to go ahead and do this lying down. And I'm going to, when you're lying down, your knees can be bent or you can extend your feet out. Mm. All right. Actually, I'm going to stay up. <laughs> I'm not really feeling the lying down. I was going to lie down just to show the two different ways, but just being honest with my body and how I truly feel in this moment right now, I don't feel like lying down, but you can lie down if you want to <laughs> in this moment. So we're going to go ahead and get ready to come into this 10 minutes. I'm going to use the sound bowl to start us off. The first sound that you hear, hear will let us know that the 10 minutes has begun. The second time that you hear the sound bow, that will let you know that our 10 minutes is up. All right. So let's go ahead again, coming into this position of comfort. You can switch out the legs if you would like to. We have been sitting in this pose for a while. To switch out the legs, maybe you take the hands behind you and then kick out the legs to change them out. You can engage the core to do this. <laughs> All right. So coming back into this position of comfort, let's get ready to do our 10 minutes of diaphragmatic breathing. Doing anything that you need to do to get comfortable. Let's get ready. Tuning into the breath. Breathing in through the nose to round the belly like a balloon. Exhale, gently pulling the belly back in towards the spine. Soften the belly to inhale. And exhale. Continue breathing at your own fashion, at your own pace. Breathing into your rhythm. You're welcome to take your hands into that position that we spoke about where one hand is on the chest and one hand is on the belly. And bringing your attention to the breath as we continue to round the belly like a balloon, inhaling, breathing in through the nose, feeling the lower hand being pushed away from the body. Exhale, softening the belly. Inhale. And exhale. Keeping your hands wherever feels comfortable to you at this time. Staying with your breath. Staying in this moment. Starting over if you need to and showing yourself compassion. As you inhale in through the nose, 
maybe noticing the air as it enters the nostrils, traveling down the spine. Exhale, gently pulling the belly back in towards the spine, feeling this air travel up the body and out the nose or the mouth for an audible exhale. Breathing at your own pace. Noticing any sensations that you may feel as you breathe into this diaphragmatic breath. Maybe softening the shoulders, releasing the shoulders away from the ears. Maybe softening the face as you exhale, softening the jaw. Continue breathing in this fashion. Noticing the breath as it travels in the body while you inhale and exhale. And staying with this breath, the same way that the breath stays with you. Noticing any sensations, still breathing in this diaphragmatic fashion as we inhale in through the nose, rounding the belly, breathing out through the nose or the mouth. Feeling our body ground below us as we exhale. Inhale to expand the body. If your mind starts to wander, that's okay. We'll bring our mind back to the breath, staying in this present moment. Still breathing into the belly. Exhale, gently pulling the belly back towards the spine. Maybe slowing down your exhale on the next round. Soften the belly to inhale. And exhale. Staying with your breath, not forcing the breath, but breathing into your natural rhythm. Breathing into the lower belly as you inhale. Exhale, releasing the shoulders and the chest. Soften the belly to inhale.
noticing with this breath, your breath, your life force. there are any noises around you right now that take your attention away from your breath, we'll bring those noises into our practice with us. Not viewing those sounds as good or bad, but simply noticing them and inviting them into our practice as we bring our attention back to the breath. We may not be able to control what happens around us, like those noises, but we can control our actions, what we decide to do, bringing our awareness back to this breath. And breathing into this moment. Let's take an inhale together, a deep inhale. Audible exhale. We'll go ahead and do three cleansing breaths to close out our practice today. For these three breaths, your hands could be face down on your knees if you feel like you need to be grounded today. Or you can face your hands or place your hands up on the knees if you feel like you need some energy today. With our three cleansing breaths, we'll continue performing our diaphragmatic breath as we inhale in through the nose to round the belly like a balloon. Exhale for an audible exhale, breathing out through the mouth pulling the belly back in, maybe engaging the core some to squeeze the belly towards the spine, releasing any air that may be trapped in the lungs and really just anything else that no longer serves us today. So let's go ahead and do that together. Getting nice and comfortable. Feel free to switch out the legs if you would like to. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Exhale, rolling the shoulders away from the ear placing our hands either up or down on the knees. Let's go ahead and inhale into the belly together for an auto, in, <laughs> inhale into the belly together. Audible exhale. Soften the belly to inhale. Audible exhale. One more time, soften the belly to inhale. Audible exhale. Let's inhale the hands up overhead. Bringing the hands together, exhale the hands down to heart center. 
I invite you to repeat after me. I am happy. I am healthy. I am abundant. I am enough. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. And this is how we'll practice the diaphragmatic breathing. Belly breathing, deep breathing, as we inhale in through the nose, surround the belly like a balloon, exhale gently pulling the belly back in. Again, you can practice this sitting up, lying down, standing up, or even sitting in a chair, doing, an, uh, doing it in a way that feels good to you, that feels natural to you. And again, as you continue to practice this breath, you're relearning it, honestly. I, I'm not teaching it to you because you were already born doing this breath. So we're just relearning and reteaching it into our bodies. And over time, it happens automatically. And I encourage you to just jot down how you feel after each practice of this intentional breathing and just see how you feel and notice if there's a difference. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.